So there's been a lot of controversy lately about this stuff right here, borax, and uh, how dangerous this stuff is supposedly for um, our children and our families, especially as it comes to being used to make slime, the uh, really classic science experiment where you mix a little borax water solution and uh, mix it with some basic Elmer's white glue and you get this lovely slime. It's a chance to learn about polymers and cross-linking and uh, just generally a way to really get kids interested in science because it's so much fun to play with this stuff. But to hear the reports lately, this stuff could be like really hazardous. Uh, you know, they say it could uh, cause serious burns, like peel your skin off. Um, it could be just a, a real threat to your health and safety. Uh, letting, especially letting your kids play with this stuff. It may just be very toxic and very dangerous. But um, you know, people have been doing this experiment for a long time and um, I've not seen problems with it. So I wanted to kind of sit down and test for the sake, for the sake of our children and for the sake of science so that we'll all have a good definitive answer. Is this stuff as dangerous as they say? Uh, so I've made, as you can see, a fairly large batch here. This was about a cup of glue, but the recipe I used, you dilute the glue out with about that much water again, and you dissolve the borax, a teaspoon of borax, in another cup of glue. So you wind up with about three cups going on a quart here. But, um, you know, maybe it's, you know, your question would be well, maybe just handling it for a couple minutes is not such a big deal, but what if you overdo it? What if you're playing with it all the time, you get your hands in it? Um, is it gonna cause some kind of reaction? So what I'm gonna do to kind of test this theory is, I'm gonna take this big glob of slime, I'm gonna take it, well, let's see what's the best way to do this. I'm gonna stuff it into this bag here. Well, easier said than done. It's got a mind of its own. I'm gonna put it in this bag. I'm just gonna use that as a way to sort of hold it in place. I'm gonna stick my hand in here. And I'm gonna just kinda let it sit. And um, I'm gonna kinda marinate and soak my arm, my hand here in uh, in this slime. There's about a teaspoon of borax in here. And um, we'll just let it sit for a while and um, see what happens. You know, if I start to develop some irritation or something, uh, an adverse reaction, and uh, of course I'll kind of stop and I'll document what I've got. But, um, that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna kind of soak it in this and see what really happens. And I will document it here for everyone to see on YouTube. Well, after about uh, the first 15 minutes, it started to feel a little bit um, itchy, perhaps, but um, not really any visible signs of. Uh, irritation so um, I think we'll plunge back in and um, leave a little longer and see and sometimes you just um, feel itchy from just having something on your skin for a while or a glove you know or something that you might do that but, uh, Let's keep going with the experiment and see if we find anything uh, really noteworthy, any real irritation or anything. Okay, it's now been about an hour 
all together, basically continuously soaking the entire hand. Now, remember that's not like just playing with slime for an hour. We need to be handling it and setting it down. Uh, it wouldn't be all over the entire surface the whole time. So this is significantly more exposure than someone actually just playing with it for an hour. I have soaked the entire hand for an hour. Uh, I did feel a little bit of that itchiness, but that's honestly seems more like just having something on your hand that you're not used to, like a glove or anything might do that. As I'm peeling it off here, there's not any really redness or irritation to speak of. Uh, now it's possible we could have effects that might develop after some time, so um, I may come back to this later. Just like a follow up tomorrow or something and just verify if there's been any new development, any delayed reaction or anything of that nature. Uh, honestly, so far the most irritating part of this experiment has been uh, not being able to use your hand while it's stuck in a bag full of slime. That and the fact that it gets stuck in the hair on your arm. If I go back and wash this <laughs> out later. Uh, yuck. Usually, like I said, a lot of fun to play with. But, uh, fingers did get a little pruney, so uh, there's that. <laughs> That's obviously just from the moisture. You know what would really make this experiment to, to a good test to really uh, look at the safety of this stuff? You know what it tastes like? Nothing. It's completely bland and insipid. It's like impossible to chew because it's just, hmm. You know. I wouldn't even really worry much about a kid eating this stuff because, um, like, that's like really hard to swallow. You can't really chew it. And you gotta like kind of slurp it down. And it has no flavor. It's, well, kind of maybe like a, I don't know, weird, almost no flavor. Almost a odd, salty-ish but nothing that would make you want to keep eating it. I mean, you kid would put this in their mouth and chomp a couple times and they'd probably just spit it back out. I mean, you can't hardly get that stuff down. It, it's just the texture. It's almost like an overcooked boiled egg yolk, except that you can't bite through it. It just kind of coalesces back together in your mouth. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, so I'll report back you know, tomorrow or so, and we'll see if I have any adverse effects now that I've completely soaked my left hand in the slime for an hour, and I've eaten a glop of it. So um, yeah, we'll see how that works out. Okay, here we are 24 hours later. Still no signs of irritation and no adverse effects to report. Looks like our kids are safe to 
go back to playing with their slime. And um, if you wanted to use this borax as a household cleaner and your laundry and so forth, should be good to go. No, I'm not actually an idiot. I knew before I started this exactly what was going to happen. I actually have a degree in biology, believe it or not. Uh, so now that I've set a really bad example, let me start out by telling you, don't try this at home. Kids, do not eat slime. Let me explain why it was uh, safe for me to do that in this particular instance. The glue, as we all know, is safe and non-toxic. In general, no, I don't recommend eating it, but it is. Borax is actually a natural mineral that's a source of the nutrient boron. It is potentially dangerous if you were to consume too much of it. However, this slime, this whole batch here that's about three cups, contains only one teaspoon. And I only took a small portion of that, uh, less than a tablespoon. The amount of boron that's in that, maybe six milligrams, maybe 10 or 12, probably not that much. That's roughly the amount that's used in nutritional supplements containing boron. Uh, and those have gotten good results with humans. That's well below the actual toxic level. So I knew when I did this exactly how much I was getting and that it was in fact safe. Now I also knew that I made this slime fresh and clean, uh, clean dishes, clean equipment, so there were no uh, germs in it from being uh, thrown around the house or handled repeatedly. Uh, I made it with no other ingredients that could be hazardous. Some of the other things that people make slime with, like laundry detergent, definitely could be hazardous. Incidentally, the only reason some of those things work to make slime, uh, contact solution is very popular, is because they contain borax. People use them because they're afraid of borax, but they don't realize that the other products they're using are just another source of borax. Yeah, believe it or not, borax is safe enough that it is in contact solution and eye drops that go directly into your eye. Uh, it is used as a, this says here, it's a detergent booster. It's used in laundry. It's actually included already in some of the laundry detergents that you buy, and that's why those things work to make slime. Uh, so if your kids are interested in doing this experiment, you might as well just go ahead and use borax. It's completely safe as long as you use it properly. You're measuring it out. Um, you're not eating large quantities of it. And no, that doesn't mean that I'm giving you permission to eat a small quantity like I did. Do as I say, not as I do, okay? Uh, but seriously, parents, not such a big concern. Uh, like I said, even the laundry detergent might have had other more hazardous things in it than the borax that's in there. So uh, I'm definitely going to give you the go ahead to uh, do this experiment, play with the slime, uh, to use this for household purposes as directed. My kids have actually done the slime thing uh, quite a few times. Uh, more than just uh, once as an experiment, but they've kind of found it to be a fun hobby to make a lot of different formulas uh, with their slime. And, uh, some of them with like the clear glue like this, uh, ingredients like glitter, things that add texture like sand. Uh, there's one, we have a whole collection going on here in my house. Here's one with uh, what they call fishbowl beads. It's uh, made with a clear glue slime, but it's got an added texture from these little uh, beads that are kind of uh, oddly shaped. They're sort of uh, dented in on one side. Uh, it 
it's uh, it's kind of fun to play with. Feel the texture with the beads in there. Here's one that's a clear blue slime. That one's kind of gotten thinner, but it's uh, colored with, um, believe it or not, some eyeshadow. Uh, it gives it that sort of shimmery color to it. They'll uh, kind of get thinner and runnier over time, uh, but you can actually add a little bit more borax solution to them. They call it reactivating it. it uh, restores the cross link in the polymer uh, that makes up there the slime. This one's uh, scented. They put some uh, like some lotion and some ylang ylang in there, and uh, as you can see, a bunch of beads and glitter. Wow, yeah. So um, all kinds of things you can do with it. Uh, we actually even made one that's magnetic, uh, which is very cool uh, as a science experiment, too. Um, so if you're interested in checking some of that out, I'll put a link to their YouTube channel that has some of those videos um, in the description for this one as well. So uh, hopefully you've learned a little something and you have put your mind at ease about your uh, children playing with borax. Thanks for watching.